Hello there, grandchildren. Today we're going to read Stay, Fang. This young boy is trying to teach his dog to stay. And he's trying to help him understand that he'll be back. Let's get started. Stay, Fang by Barbara Shook Hazen, illustrated by Leslie Holt Morrill. I have a dog. His name is Fang. He likes balls and bones and, best of all, being with me. What Fang doesn't like is staying. He doesn't like it when I go someplace he doesn't get to go, like school. Or my cousin Eddie's overnight. He doesn't like it when I take him someplace where I get to go in, but he has to stay outside, like the Mini Mart or the library. Or the park playground where my friend Bernie and I go a lot. I always hug Fang and say, stay, before I loop his leash around the fence. Fang always gives me his sad look. So I always pat him and tell him, I understand, because I do, even if it is different with a dog. Then he whines and whimpers, and he paws the ground and pulls at his leash and acts like I'm never coming back, until I come back and untangle his leash. Then he wags his tail and wriggles and licks me like I've been gone forever. So I hug Fang again and tell him again, I'll only be a little while. I love you and I always come back, but you have got to learn to stay. Fang looks at me like he understands, but he doesn't. The second I leave, he starts whining and whimpering and pawing and pulling all over again. Sometimes a lot of agains until we have to go home. Fang's even worse on school days. I always hug him before I go. On the way out, I wave and say, see you later. But Fang doesn't act like there will be a later. Mom says that after I'm gone, Fang sits by the window and watches and waits for me to come back. Once he howls so loudly, a neighbor complained. Once he got mad at me for going and went in my room and chewed my sneaker and knocked down my moon city. And once he jumped out of the window and he followed me to school. which meant I had to go back, which made me late. I've tried everything. I've tried sneaking out of the house and not saying stay or telling Fang where I'm going, but that doesn't work because Fang's too smart. I've tried leaving the TV on and giving Fang squeak toys so he'll have something to play with while I'm gone. That doesn't work either because Fang wants to play with me. I've tried explaining. Look Fang, there are just some places dogs can't go the way there are some places kids can't go. But wherever I go, whatever I do, I'll always come back. 
always and no matter what, even if the game has extra innings. Or I stop by Bernie's or walk home the longer way, okay? Only it isn't okay. Nothing works. Fang still hates to stay, and I still keep on trying. I keep saying, stay, Fang, and hugging him and telling him, I love you, and I'll always be back. Then one day when I get home, Mom greets me. Guess what, she says. Fang whimpered once, and then he settled down. He played with his toy and took a nap, and so did I. I am so happy. I ruffle Fang's fur and hug him hard and say, See, I knew you could do it. Staying's not so bad. It can even be fun. Phew! I think Fangs finally learned to stay and found out it wasn't so bad after all. I hope you guys can learn some good lessons too. I love you. Bye-bye.